So what I find most confusing about Logan Paul's strategy to sue CoffeeZilla is the fact that there are people he mentioned who have stole millions of dollars from him. One of them actually stole the code valued at a million dollars that you would need to run CryptoZoo. Uh, these people include our good friend, the Collectible Gurus, or as many other people know him, Crypto King, or just as Jake. Logan Paul is mentioning that he stole $6 million in a rug pull. And Jake has mentioned that he used it to pay himself in the millions of dollars. So Jake himself has confirmed that he did pull out and it was a rug pull as a compensation to him. Now, if I were Logan, why would I not sue Jake? Jake stole millions, upwards of $6 million, according to the blockchain, from me. The next person on the list, Eddie Abenaz, stole almost $2 million. He lied about going to MIT. He lied about his credentials. He lied about his entire resume. In his entire life story, he lied. I would sue him. And lastly, the developer, Z, who is a criminal, who supposedly ran off with the code to Switchland, I would also sue him. And I believe Logan Paul was saying that he had a team of two other developers. Well, where are those developers and can they help us make the rest of the code? Because they already, according to you, have already done so. So this is very absurd in my opinion that he is suing the critic CoffeeZilla when there are free people who he, I, I looked on for online cases involving Logan Paul. None of them came with these individuals names. You have free people who literally rip you off for 6 million, 2 million, and 1 million. You don't have any code. You're promising that this crypto zoo thing will be developed, but you're going to use your time and your resources for pos potentially the next two to three years, hiring an army of attorneys. Um, again, instead of hiring an army of attorneys, why don't you actually deliver the game that you promised? So I'm absolutely baffled that Logan Paul can't see what the solution is. The solution is very simple. Launch the game. Launch the game that you promised that CryptoZoo would be. I don't understand the complication. I don't see what you, how you benefit from going to CoffeeZilla. Is CoffeeZilla going to... Is he, did he steal, steal millions from you that you can recover? Is CoffeeZilla going to, you know, give you the code back? You have issues, and you've had these issues, and you've had enough time to solve these issues should you have wanted to solve them. You can, can get your code back, okay? You can get the $6 million back. You can get the $2 million back. You can at least make an effort before trying to sue CoffeeZilla. You can at least make the effort to get that money back and let's say you can't get the money back and you know these people are very crypto bros and they're very slippery and so on okay fair enough well why don't we spend our time our resources build a team around us that is not full of criminals right we'll background check them this time for 25 to 35 dollars a background check to make sure that they haven't don't have prior criminal convictions that we will call these schools like we'll call MIT and say hey do you have a student we will do basic background checking that any business should be doing anyway and we'll build our team many of them will be your fans that will work for you for a discount I assume and we build up the crypto zoo and we build it to be a great game and we deliver what we initially promised what is so wrong with that concept I don't know but if you spend the time, if you would rather spend the money and the time and the resources to go against CoffeeZilla in court and take them to court, 
I don't know what's wrong with you because it, that doesn't help your situation at all. It makes it much worse. The solution to Logan, your Logan Paul, the solution to all your problems is launching a viable, uh, again, a functional crypto zoo game. You promised that to your fans. They invested in it. They lost their money. You at least owe them the game. And then from there, you know, promote the game. Like, do everything you said you were going to do. None of that involves suing CoffeeZilla. In fact, CoffeeZilla, by spending your time making videos and threatening to sue CoffeeZilla and doing other stuff, you're taking away from the time that you could be spent on CryptoZoo. The solution is not difficult to understand. The solution is super simple. Launch CryptoZoo. If you can get the money back from Crypto King slash Collectible Guru slash Jake, fantastic. If you can get the money back from Eddie, I think Eddie has a family. Um, he was shown to be on TV and so on. And he had a wife and a family. I think Eddie's in the U.S. I don't know about Crypto King Jake. He seems kind of like a shadier guy. I mean, the Omi thing I really know about him was he tried to sell a fake first edition sealed booster box of Pokemon base to dumb money which was open on live stream which lean heart was also there you know to get the money right and uh turned out it was a fake it was a repackaged box even though crypto king at that time collectible gurus had a fascinating story about how it was a bunch of boxes and they were in a safe for 10, 20 years. And my God, it was in some type of barn. I don't know. I do know this, that at no, no time, at no time did you sue Crypto King, who stole $6 million, according to blockchain. At no time did you sue Eddie Abanez who according to blockchain took out just slightly under $2 million. At no time did you go after the developer or the other two side developers. So apparently there were three of them. You need to launch this game, not sue people and silence them. Okay, there we go.